Why, hello there, guys. Welcome to another episode of Pillow Cat. It is, uh, what's it called? April Fools. And what better way to, than to celebrate April Fools, you monsters, with the mirror of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sega made a free game for us in April Fools. <laughs> hey, don't start. I'm here with my little poopy Artemis. Phew, we made it on the train 50 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name is... Damn, what will I... <laughs> what is my name going to be? Dude, what the hell? Hmm... Hmm... Clearly, we have here. I wanted to make my own OC original character, but I guess I'll call you. I'll call you Smeg. <laughs> Hello, my name is Smeg. That's my name. I don't think I could show my face around here again if I wrote that. Whoa! Let's try and get it. No, it's not gonna let me. Oh, damn. It's not gonna make. make okay. Hmm, how about, how about, hmm, hmm, oh my god, no, 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 no. Jesus Christ, are, are, are we gonna spend this whole episode trying to figure out a name for him? Artemis, do you have a name for him? Of course not. Okay, um. You know what? I'll call you Bjork. Why not? Bjork is his name? Bjork, did I spell that right? Yeah. Hope passengers can read my scribble. I hope I don't think they would. Okay, let's start. I need to take the mouse out of the way. Dining car. Mm, this game seems pretty chill. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this my first day on? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Bjork, shake it off. Damn, someone slapped me. Bjork, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Oh, shit. M -m -m Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho, ho, ho. Quite all right myself, though. Feeling a little bittersweet. Is that because you're sweet? <laughs> uh, should I ask him that? Trying to bother me up on the first day, are we? Is that because you're a sweetie? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Bro, 32 years as a conductor is a lot. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Ah, shit. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I received. I should look over the menu carefully. Okay. Hmm. Chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. That's the menu. Chili dog, ramen, and chicken corn and blue. This is the weirdest fucking menu I've seen in my life. And then this is to save, right? Let's save it. Bam. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Oh, my God. That's stupid. Ha, 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 ha. Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Oh, fuck. Chicken cord and blue. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? Ha, 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 A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. The train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. 
I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Oh my god, he's gonna die. It's like his last day. He's died. Like, oh, I was so close to retiring. It was my last day, and now I'm dead. Oh, that would have been that would be hilarious. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our playing guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. Ha 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 ha! Grab this! Oh my god! <sighs> All aboard! This train looks dope as fuck. Where the fuck are we, bro? Damn, there's Amy, there's Knuckles, that's clearly Sonic because of the nose. Oh, look at Amy. She looks kind of pretty. She's 12, so no. No, ew. Yeah, that's just the... <laughs> the original age of these Sonic characters is really fucked up. Wow, this train is... Inc okay, this is Tail. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. Vector. I mean, his name is Victor. They just call it Vector because it's different. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. <laughs> what did you all expect? You know I was going all out for my birthday party. Oh, it's your birthday? Uh-huh. This train is elegant as you are, Amy. <gasps> okay. Okay. First of all, Rogue or Rouge, whatever you want to call this bitch, the Bat. She is known for having the biggest tiggle bitties. And they have cut her off. What is happening here? This is not the rogue, rogue, whatever I fell in love with when I was a child. A teenager, actually. No. <clears throat> this train is against you are Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. And then Knuckles, the boyfriend, because these two, oh, these two always got something going on. And they never make it official, but we all know the echidna and the bat are boinking. Anyway, calm down there, rogue. Did I not just catch you stealing from this train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pet? Woo! That's why they're together. Woohoo! What cast of characters am I stuck with? I know, bro. They're not easy. It's not easy. Get out of yourself, Bjork. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? <laughs> Radio. Radio. Friend. All right, of course, sir. Uh. Well, aren't you friendly? Okay, I hope so. Why can't I be normal for one second? Hey, man, that's all I have. Sonic, wait till I have everyone's rolls to get food. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry about that, birthday girl. She's 13? Ah, shit. Okay. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Bjork, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, I got it. Oh, shit. There's Knuckles. There's Tails. Sonic. I forgot your name, buddy, but you're the chameleon. Vector Shadow. Shadow looking like her head. Look at Blaze. She looks nice. <gasps> she does have the big old, I mean, the tig old bitties. And she just kind of flattish. Well, hello there, you two. What can I do for you? Ha, ha, ha. Good morning, ma'am. Can I get your ticket? My, my, have fun. Well, let me fetch it for you. Ah! Come back if you need anything else. Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Sure, buddy. I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gotta have to kindly ask for that back. Hmm. Shit. Oh, this was yours. Must have slipped out of here. Yeah, here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Yeah, no, definitely. Blaze is pretty. She's a cat. Look at that. Hmm. May I have your ticket, please? Damn, Blaze. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see a princess such as myself must always be punctual. Bruh. P princess? Did she say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. That's right. She's from another dimension. A separate what? Just here for Emmy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho, ho, ho. You don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can't I not win with this group? Yeah, no. Ah, let's get 
Amy. Could I please get you a birthday to get the birthday girl sticker? Hee <laughs> hee. Like, certainly. Here you go. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing a fine train for your birthday birthday. Well, the birthday this girl certainly had. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so excited. It's right on my alley. Who doesn't love a... I mean, who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a true crap podcast. I listen to the podcast on the left. My favorite murder. I listen to what other true crime podcasts are there. I don't know. Well, fuck. I gotta listen to more. Maybe we should... I mean, maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? The fuck is this? It's a key. Oh, it locks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday and the birthday key is practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Hmm. Here. What's up, Shadow? You're looking like a poser. Thank you if everything's in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back again for you. That's stare, brr, so cold. Bjork, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ha <laughs> ha, no, I'm good. Damn, Shadow, being a bitch like always. Hello, my friend. Can I get a ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Hey, <laughs> as a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He is clearly African American. He's clearly, he's clearly black. He's the black dude of the group. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something I miss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't hear you. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. That's kind of weird. Hmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Bjork, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Bjork only gets one of those if they ask. Arm. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Haha, <laughs> good try, young buck. The Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. These snacks look really tasty. Fuck. <laughs> What's your name again? Can we please see your ticket? Espio. Espio the chameleon, that's right. But of course... Here we go. Excellent. Thank you. Hope you will stay with us. <coughs> Absolutely. I appreciate it. Oh, come on, bro. You consider me calming. What? You look at right favorite. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training and a lot of bullshit too, Espio. Ninjutsu doesn't mean you can read minds. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can't. The conductor looks like a bit sm too smug at that answer. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Okay, well, Sonic's gonna be the last one. Hmm. <laughs> Howdy, could I get you a ticket? Whoa! I think that's a ticket? Knuckles, bro. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, Knuckles, what the fuck? Can I get your ticket, young? Here you go! Right here, sir! Thank you. May I offer any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you! When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. If a sparkly gelatin can melt any jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous! You're doing great so far! We're sparkle gelatin buddies! Ha 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 ha! Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is fucking normal. Fucking gelatin bros, brah. Hey, hey! Take it, please. There you go, baby. Thank you, Colin. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. What? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. You did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are sick. Wait a second. Is he? Is he? Sonic the Hedgehog? What? Jesus Christ, I promise you, in essence, stay on our train. Sonic, have fun now. Y yes, have fun now. We'll do thanks, but that's everybody, though. I believe that's everybody. Oh, there's a napkin. Oh, what's sticking out of the napkin holder? A ticket. Another one. Say, wasn't I looking for a ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return it to the rightful owner. And let's make sure no one else uses their ticket as a napkin. 
The last ticket is added to the inventory. Man, looking rough. Find anything yet? Well, we just have what you need. Pure. Do we show you for what we picked up? Bam. Bam. Oh, there it is. That's my ticket. Thank you so much. You both. What's really worried? You kicked me out and I missed the murder mystery. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Bjork here would have had their head full kicking you out. You're right. I would have leave without a fight. Ha 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 Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's Knuckles' ticket. He put it. He shoved it. Well, I mean, I don't know. Wait, who may be both microwave expert and security guard? What the fuck? You're both right my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read everyone's rules of the departure mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure it gets have a safe and durable time in the Mirage Sprite. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems planning and capable on their own. And train. Assist Bjorg if they need any help, won't you? Beep. For ha 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 ha. That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than the conductor and his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about making up the place either. The train is state of the art and assist them with for doing all that. For everything else, use MasterCard. Ha! <laughs> Please talk to Bjork if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Sounds good. Absolutely. Hey, will do, bruh. Goodbye, you I love that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guy I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you around your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the detail of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intention. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspect. Everyone has assigned roles for characters and they will be playing participation. First required for is it's my birthday. Of course! We have the same voice! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonny, you're a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Oh, shit. Are you still have the hots for Sonic? Um, naturally, that's where the captain would go. <laughs> you're the detective, Tails. You'll be here in the dining car. Shit! It do to me. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Heh, <laughs> got it. Rogue, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Uh, what the feck? Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Espio! Espio, I'm sorry, what the fuck? Vector, you're the slave! What? No, I'm sorry, you're the butcher. Amy! I'm not racist, I promise! <laughs> Hear that, SPO? We get to hang out together. And do what, Reed? Maybe we could uh, make a tile of books or something. Oh, wow, bro. Shadow's the locksmith hanging on the lounge. Shadow's like, fucking bitch. <sighs> Why? And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? I sure did. I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than a rock, you can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, shit. There's a map. This is the train. The train is zigzagging around. I have a bag for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to the inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murder amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence from the train and use it to turn it for the past and figure out what it's done. The murderer will lie to get out because of a kid's race between everything fine clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for what hours everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Are you ready? Sounds like everyone's inside it. Everyone to your stations! Three! Two, one, kill everybody! Murder them! Ah! Oh, this is so exciting. A mystery's unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same! Ah! Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective's jewelist can't be the murderer. That's such a lie. You are the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This, this, <clears throat> this way, there's always a neutral party. I changed my voice, because I don't want to have the same voice as Amy. What the fuck, Tails? 
Makes sense to me. We agreed! Seems as though he's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you say? What do you think I was doing? I'll probably spend your stations and take talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lower cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Oh shit, where's the bird? My bad story is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the doc, the evil Dr. Eggman. Kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My other is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Yeah, like always, you know, poking my nose on shit. Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh shit, the train. The train started moving it, it, so fast. Grab onto something. Oh shit, what's going on? Ah, I'm slipping. Oh, hold on. I, I can't. Oh, no. <coughs> ah, fuck. My voice. <gasps> no, what happened? Oh, no. Detective Ace Attorney's on the case. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Well, Sonic is dead, so I'm taking his voice now. I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. The train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience. That's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Bjork, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, see the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give me that fallen shelf and whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Ah, let's find out where I started looking for clues. You left your hammer, didn't you? I'll search over here. Huh? I know, Amy, she's hiding something. Hmm? I suppose she did wake us up, but before us, something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm going to need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. <clears throat> Check out everything you can on this comment and we'll show it to Amy and cover the full station. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Let's go, Ace Attorney. Yeah, understood, bro. <clears throat> you can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear. Let's get searching. Dude, what the hell? Okay, so at least the important things we can click on. Yeah, it seems we can click on the important stuff. Something's always in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. What? But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash room. How do I become so as awesome this kid? The shelf block in is currently not budging. Hey, hey, be right, look at this closely. Ah, oh, I wonder how this other hell got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train was too a cup. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crank. I got a shot. Uh-huh. What do you think, Taylor? Want me to cook anything? Any of this for you when we get out of here? Sure. I don't want to make breakfast with me. I prefer to cook. Never make. Ah, uh, my cast iron skill skillet has gone a lot of use lately. I could cook a mean cast from Iron Pizza. Ha, ha, ha. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Hmm. Ah, oh, this wet floor sign keeps people alert and safe. I'm super at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was always going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. What's the latest? Finding clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. Ah! I'll keep looking. Uh, okay, we already did that. Okay. Hmm, I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little bit more first? Yeah, there's gotta be another way out of here. Okay, but I mean... There's nothing else to click on. Oh, there is. What's this? A rod? Oh, sure hammer broke. Hmm, it's been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so I will keep it. I think we found enough clues. Let's interrogate Amy to what really happened. What's the latest? Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. Do, 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 do. What do you 
to kiss me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been sucking here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Ah, shit. Michael, it's really the authenticity cake. Yeah, I don't think you were sitting idly while Bjork and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it! Hmm. Show me how I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Bjork, let me step step you through this. First, we find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Aha, uh -huh, and then, you know, if it's the right one, we deduce. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Uh... The crack on the shelf. What? Some dining shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damn, which makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, tells what now? Well, now we follow the train of thought. Oh, how does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, I, uh, well, hmm. I, when I get stuff, I'll have to think. What would Sonic do? What would Jesus do in this situation? Because Sonic, you know, is in the existence of this world. So as we ask Sonic, what would, so what would Jesus do? What will Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing ba bad necks. He never loses, like like an endless runner game. I put a lot of those in my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What will Sonic do and find your argument? All right, let's prove not you're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a combat, like Sonic would do. Think! What the fuck? Oh, shit. We got to run? Ready? Okay, we gotta fucking collect rings. What the hell is this? Oh shit, I did not intend that for that to happen. Okay, this is interesting to say the least. Well, we got all the rings that we needed so far. That's it? That easy, huh? <laughs> sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well care that the damage wasn't here before we arrived? <laughs> well, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf help with then? I mean, I didn't need to think that. I knew it was clearly a fucking stick. You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Again? We're gonna play this game again? Mm -mm. We got all the rings. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bjork's dream year. Objection! You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the stuff on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, it's, say, a hammer. <gasps> ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? It's actually the handle of your Pico Pico hammer. Oh, you attempted to hit the shove out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah! Ah! It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with the hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured if it was no big deal, I'd try to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better off me. Off me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tiny things here, little elbow grips there at fix. Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back! The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Great job, baby. Let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here, brah. Damn, the train is fucked up. What is that? <gasps> Sonic! It can't be... Sonic! Someone buried my darling Sonic! Why are you happy about that, bitch? Looks like the games began. I find out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. Oh no, what a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Oh shit. He's really dead? Sonic? 
body now can't move. What, what were you saying? I don't understand. I just need, need to, to rest. <gasps> Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He... It's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense the pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? Is this part of the burger mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no! I feel myself panicking. Come down, Bjork. What do I do? I need you to do everything your power to make sure our playing guests are well taken care of, understood? Our which means they need miraculously be rich, so I leave their care to you, Bjork, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Fa ha 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 Oh my god. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get the bottom of this, even if this is the part of the game. I just can't risk it. I'll keep her in subconductors, you'll see. Sonic is dead! No! Why Sonic the murder? Of Sonic the Hedgehog. No, Sonic. Damn, dude. It's the saloon car. Uh, you know what? I was, I got quiet. I was thinking next time on Pillow Cow, let's end it here for now. Let me save it real quick. Next time on Pillow Cat, more of Bjork's adventures. I'll see you soon. Bye.